for our bottle collecting hop group, uh, yeah. North Star Historical Bottle Association in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I went to a garage sale a couple of years ago and they had just a whole like a ton of bottles. And they had a bunch of them that were like rainbow colored, like that's iridescent and yeah. melted. Like I don't, right. they were all twisted up and yeah. that's on fire. Just, yeah. It was really cool. I, I bought one because I was like, oh, this is just beautiful. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So they must have just thrown it in a fire pit or yeah, it got burned. Went through their wood stove. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Go through the wood stove. Uh, there's so much stuff we find and so much stuff we give away. We give a lot of stuff away. <coughs> Like I say, I have a pole barn full. We we do enough. We do enough digging in the course of a year. We'll get. We'll have people that. Well, oh, sure. Go ahead. Do you, how much do you want? They're like, you can have it all. But they just. They they help us in our hobby. They say, you know, have fun, and it. Uh, other people are like, oh wow, yeah. It's like, sure, I'll take all that stuff. Fine, no problem, and. The way I look at it is like I've spent the last month and a half washing bottles. Okay. So for me, it's less bottles that I have to wash. And, in, and in, at the end of a year, I will add to my collection probably six or eight items. I, I don't. It's uh, I, over the years, I've saved one pretty much of everything that I've dug. So now it's gotten to the point of I have my cabinet full and a couple other shelves full, and so it's like oh, okay, well, like like yesterday we we're digging uh, base and boss Walters Brewery from Eau Claire. Well, to me that's the ugliest bottle there is. I mean, it's on the bottom. Who cares if it was on the side? Then I'll say yeah, that's a nice one. But when I put it on my shelf, there it is. Like, uh, it's a target factor spot. Yeah. So. After you do something for 25 years, you start to kind of become more advanced, and it's the uh, as long as it's still an exciting hobby. I, what's always amazing is when you do get the area where you know it is. You don't know what's two inches below your feet, and that's the fun part. It uh, it, it gets to be. And when you when you when you start you know, like yesterday we were exposing stuff and you're like ah oh, this could be this or this could be that we had some heartbreakers so, yesterday yeah the heartbreakers and it's a it's a really really fun thing and people a lot of people hate to see us go when we're done with our yard they're like oh I had so much fun yeah they yeah. that's that's really is true they they, uh, they well, I can get my neighbor to come maybe let you dig and stuff and then then they sit there and watch. You know, people sit there and drink beer and get drunk watches. Really, <laughs> <laughs> here's a new one for you. Look at this bottle. You don't know that one. He says. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's I it's. don't mean to be asking all the questions, no. but I have a Coke bottle question. Do okay. people collect the different cities that the bottles are from oh, yeah. with the yes, markings on yeah. the bottom? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's Christmas cokes and there's straight sided cokes. Coke bottles are pretty much newer than we want to collect. Generally. Well, I, I'm talking about the old ones that always had the bottling city on the bottom. Yeah, those yeah. are from the 1923 and uh, 15 at the earliest. And that's, there's Coke bottles from 1890s that are out there. And those are the ones we would, well, if we dig a 1950 Coke bottle, we're not going to throw it in the hole. We, don't, yeah. we, want, we want local stuff. And Coke bottle is such a national thing. Coke put out so many bottles. And so, and so many cities had different bottles. It's impossible to get a collection. Oh. I know a guy down in southern Georgia it has got thousands of pop bottles. Coca-Cola bottles displayed on his wall. And he's got them like in wine racks, but just a city exposed on the bottles. It's all just a whole wall right there. This whole building is in ten thousand bottles. And it's Coke oh, bottles. they used to bottle in Eau Claire. There may be some. Oh yeah, we've got some Dunkin' Eau Claire ones before. Yeah. No, you can. You can as a bottle collector, you can specialize. Like I was saying, if you just wanted to do one city, if you just wanted to do one product. One of anything, you're going to spend a lifetime trying to accomplish your goal because there's literally millions of different ones. It's almost impossible. Well, there's national collectors, there's guys out east that spend 
the most money ever paid for a bottle is one hundred and seventy six thousand dollars. So, yeah, it's there's 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 people that take this to a, all. The first bottle show I was ever at, I'm going along the table, and I'm well, I I use bottles, but I picked up this bottle and I'm looking at it. I'm like, oh, a hundred dollars. And then I looked at it again, and I'm like, oh, that's $10,000. So I went like this, <laughs> down on the table. And I says, that's a nice bottle, and it was Bill Ham. He goes, yeah, he says, nice color, isn't it? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, $10,000. And he's got a table, and we have a show coming up. And he might be there again. He'll have a table that the, the, the stuff on his table, he doesn't really want to sell it. He just kind of wants to show it off. Yeah. You see what I got? It's, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. He doesn't care if he sells it or anything. Well, one show I was at, I actually sold him a bottle. And it was like a $3 bottle. And he says, he comes, he says to me, he says, he says, this really isn't for me. He says, it's for the wife. I says, okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs>